Welcome to the six steps to becoming a Texas RPLS. Now, I get a lot of phone calls, these 15 minute surveyor chats each week. And one of the top questions I get from Texas surveyors is, you know, where do I even start to become a land surveyor? I'm doing construction, concrete, other types of, you know, similar jobs. I've seen a surveyor work and I want to become one, but I really have no idea where to start. Well, this is the video for you. And if you're going along the process of becoming a surveyor, then we can talk about each part so that you can formulate a plan to go from where you are today to RPLS as quickly, as cheaply, and as efficiently as possible, so you're not spending months or years doing things that really are not advancing your career. All right, so where do we begin? Well, we start with your education. And in previous years, you've had to have a four-year bachelor's degree to get licensed as an RPLS. Well, that's not true anymore. Only a two-year associates is now required in Texas. So any type of associates with 32 credit hours or obviously a land surveying associates. And up until recently, there really has not been a lot of great options to get an associates of surveying in Texas. But landsurveycareer.com is getting one going and it's gonna be awesome. We spent a lot of time and we spent a lot of money building this associates program and it is built for working professionals by working professionals. So it's gonna be an awesome program. LandSurveyCareer.com launching in a few months for the associates already have a certificate. Now, once you have your education, now it comes time for your first exam. And that exam is called the Fundamentals of Surveying Exam. The FS is really a national exam, which has a lot of different surveying topics. But if you've gone through a pretty decent surveying program, you should already know this stuff. You know, you should be a surveying, not expert, but you should be familiar with a lot of these surveys from your college credits. Cross your fingers. Once you pass the fundamentals of surveying, now it comes time to get your experience. And the experience is where you go, you find a mentor who's a current RPLS, and you go to work. You know, you work eight, 10 hours a day, five days a week. And believe it or not, you've got to accumulate 4,000 hours of experience. And not just any experience, you know, you've got to have field experience, office experience, drafting experience, research experience. And you have to list these different types of experience buckets on your RPLS application. So don't short circuit that process. But you go to work for about two years, 4,000 hours, and this is where you gain the practical knowledge that is going to assist you in passing the RPLS exam and being a good surveyor. So you've gotten your education, you have passed your fundamentals of surveying exam, you've gained your experience, and now it comes time to show off some of that experience. And the way you show off, you know, the way you strut your feathers in front of the Texas board is you produce two sample surveys. A urban survey, which is a lot and block, and a rural survey, which is like a meets and bounds, you know, farm or something. And you're going to show the Texas board how you can do the survey properly, how you can meet board standards, how you can follow the legal requirements. And these surveys are going to be reviewed by an actual board member or volunteer. So make sure the surveys look good. And if they like your surveys, they give you the thumbs up, 
Then it comes time to go for the actual exam, the RPLS exam. And this exam has about a 50% pass rate. So, you know, check out our next video on the tips for passing this exam. I can tell you, it is not impossible to pass. It is a very fair exam. Sometimes it's a little bit bungled in terms of questions and setup, but overall, it's a high quality boundary surveyor's exam, and it's gonna prepare you again to get that license. Education, exam, experience, two surveys, RPLS exam. At this point, they are going to issue you a license, but we're not done yet because you've got to keep this license. Do your CEUs, work hard, treat your clients well. And if you can put in the time to get this license, you should be willing to put in the time to keep it. And that means working hard and doing a good job, producing high quality surveys, and at the top of the pyramid, protecting your clients. And if you can do that, you're gonna have a very successful career.